Hey there everyone, hope you all made it home safe and if you're still in the process of traveling that you do get home safely and maybe this video will kill a little time for you somewhere. So for today guys, I'm just going to be showing you what uh, you're going to go through this week and what your uh, major assignments are. Um, that's not right, that's from the last class, sorry. So we'll talk about that in a second. So first let's talk about today. Today you're starting off with the video just explaining it. That's going to be a Monday thing, so next Monday as well I'll put out a video just kind of explain things. I might add one or two short videos just throughout the week just to explain some notes or whatnot if everyone's having a problem with the topic, but otherwise this will probably be the only time you see me on video. So for today uh, you will also have a Juno pod on factors of climate change. So this is more natural factors of climate change, so why we would have different uh, climates in different areas and whatnot, so just more around the earth and the sun's movement, why it impacts stuff like that. Um, you might have touched on it last year with grade nine science and the study of the universe. Uh, I know with my class we did a little bit. Uh, Tuesday, describing climate types. So with that, you're going to just look at various climate types, uh, climatographs, so just stuff they use to identify a climate as, you know, maybe a tundra or a rainforest, stuff like that. Just name what are the characteristics of each. Wednesday, you will have a note on climate change factors. So that's kind of more like man-made or uh, stuff that's happened over time to cause the change in climate change, or to cause the increase in climate, so global warming. So we'll talk about that a little bit. And then the main thing, I'm going to show you your project for the week. So you'll have the outline for it. You can work on it kind of at will whenever. It's a, it's a research paper. I would say you really just probably want to wait until after Thursday to really get into it. Just because Thursday's note is specifically on greenhouse gases, which is going to be the topic of your paper. So just wait until then to maybe at least start your introduction. You can do some individual research on your chosen greenhouse gas, but I would say save that introduction part until you've read that note. And then your discussion thread, that'll come out on Thursday, so you can answer it at any time. Um, discussion thread, climate change in your province or state, so what are some initiatives or things that they've done to reduce uh, a certain greenhouse gas emission in your province or state? And then your response is just going to be to identify someone who in their province or state is doing something to reduce that same greenhouse gas. Just kind of make a connection amongst yourselves. Um, so for the discussion thread, you will have to have the post by Monday and the response done by Thursday. So Monday the 14th for the post and then the response by Thursday the 17th, okay? Um, should only be one, well, actually no, there are multiple people can respond to multiple posts. Anybody who posts something blank or anything like that will be docked marks or receive a zero for the discussion, just if you try and see someone else's answer. Uh, we've caught on to that. Okay, yeah. Uh, and then your paper for you guys is actually going to be due. Wednesday the 16th. Yeah, Wednesday the 16th. I think that's what I wrote for you guys. I got two different spots here. Um, yep, no, Wednesday the 16th. That's the due date for you guys. So, with that being said, let's go through your paper and get a bit of a head start on it. But it's really nothing too different than what you guys have done all year. So, there's some video inception. And here's your paper. So, two page paper on a greenhouse gas. If you're choosing, you don't have to get it approved by me. That being said, it's pretty obvious if you guys message each other and your papers are going to look very similar. Um, the paper must include a title page and a reference page. Don't count towards the, three, or the two page total. You must have three APA references. That is a minimum. You need to have at least three. Uh, the par paper is going to have the format of four to five paragraphs. The only thing that's compulsory is an introduction paragraph that uh, 
generally explained what a greenhouse gas is. So it's not your specific one, you're just explaining general greenhouse gases or greenhouse gases as a whole. And then your conclusion, which is going to be how do you reduce the emissions of those greenhouse gases specifically. Otherwise, your two to three paragraphs, that's up to you how you want to split it, is going to be on the common sources of production, how has it contributed to global warming, so how much, and then which country produces the most or how is it in your uh, area. This one's kind of a choice question, you don't have to answer both, or you could answer both, it's uh, depending on how much uh, room you have to play with in that two page limit. All statistics and diagrams must be referenced. So with diagrams more specifically, keep in mind if I put, you know, a chart of, you know, we'll say CO2 emissions, I got to go figure one, and then I'm just going to say, you know, like, uh, greenhouse gas emissions from 2000 onward or something like that. So you just need to make sure it's referenced like that. Put your in-text reference beside your statistics. Even if you take a stat and you change the wording on it, you didn't know that statistic before, so it has to be referenced at the end of your sentence or paragraph. So we'll continue along down here. Sorry, I just like to make sure I'm still recording. I get cut off halfway through sometimes. Um, so it's a pretty standard rubric for me, guys. Organization, you indent your paragraphs to so the title page and reference page, their own pages and none of the other stuff is spewing on to it over. Is everything spaced out properly? Is it in the given format that I wanted? Stuff like that. Amount of information, so did you answer each of the topic questions and did you get to that two page quote? Quota, not quote, sorry. Quality of information, so specifically are you using scientific analysis of that stuff? Uh, whether it be you know the emissions of CO2 or are you just explaining it super generally and not getting a lot of detail and again you want to give that background information to really uh, make it beneficial for the reader. Sources, so again three APA and minimum, don't forget to put your in-text references in. Uh, in terms of copy and paste or direct quotations, I would say it should be no more than about a quarter of your paper is uh, may, maybe a third because you guys are looking at more statistics based this one. So about a third of your paper could be copy and paste in terms of direct quotes from somebody or statistics based on uh, emissions or whatnot. But otherwise two thirds of it should be you guys writing things and in saying that you guys are pretty good for it but just a reminder uh, when you change the wording on something you actually have to make it write your own wording. Don't just change two uh, uh, synonyms in the sentence so you know the cow went moo the cow yelled moo that's not very different at all right you got to actually change the information probably a pretty poor example there but you, you guys get the idea internet use so again shouldn't see wikipedia out here it should all be scientific based studies so if you use wikipedia you're getting a half mark there none of that it's scientific based websites so use Google Scholar, run your stuff through there, and it should actually find you some more scientific-based articles. And mechanics is very straightforward, right? Did you run it through spell check? Is you are you using uh, your sorry, <laughs> using your periods and uh, commas appropriately? That's the main thing, right? Uh, label your diagrams as well, and then make sure your reference page is alphabetical order too. Otherwise, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? Getting it through the spell check is usually enough. Uh, you know, for me, <laughs> not, uh, not looking for a full English essay here, right? We're looking for the science stuff. Um, okay. Well, that being said, guys, I don't really have, oh yes, for, for submitting your paper, I don't want it sent to me in a message. I'll open a Dropbox so you can either go to your calendar or your to-do list or your dashboard and you should be able to submit the paper there. So then I just don't get, you know, if I've got you guys, I'll pen you, and then my 20 other kids and the 10 other ones, all need to send me a paper. I don't need 50 emails, right? So if you can't find it and it's past the deadline or it's about to be the deadline, just send it to me in an email, that's not a problem. But if you've got the time, please do try and find that Dropbox. Just saves me a little bit of a headache. Again, nothing that big, but uh, so paper, Wednesday the 16th, that's at 5 p.m. Eastern, so again, the end of our school day here. Um, you know, 
if it's 505, I'm not going to be freaking out about that. But six, seven, something like that, you're, you're losing 5%, right? So keep that in mind, 5 p.m. Your unit three test, we're gonna go through this unit pretty quick. It's not gonna be an overly uh, difficult test or heavily weighted. Obviously, you'll have your notes to reference. It'll essentially be an open book test. So yeah, just a heads up for that one. So I guess make sure when you go through all the notes, I'm gonna see them, they'll be in the form of Juno pods so I know who is doing their notes and whatnot. You'll have some review questions at the end that you need to answer, so it might say, Go answer question, uh, you know, number three on this page in your textbook. Just make sure that you guys have your textbook. Uh, if you forgot to bring your textbook, I guess send me an e sorry, send me an email, and I'll give you the questions. All right, yeah, that's everything for this week, guys. I'll talk to you next week. Enjoy your time at home.